Hello, this is Arthur Hill with StockTarts.com. You are tuned into a video edition of the mailbag and today we're going to show you how to create a list of stocks or ETFs or whatever in an Excel spreadsheet and upload that list to a chart list at StockCharts. All right, so the first thing we need to do obviously is to create our CSV file. That stands for comma separated values. And you can do that in Excel or Numbers or any spreadsheet program. So I'm going to use Excel and you can see in column A I have all my symbols and then in column B I have the corresponding name for that symbol. Now you might notice something about the names, okay? I've got QQQ for the first 10 and what I've done is I've got 1100 and then I've got QQQ to symbolize the ETF and then I've got QQQ because I want to see the actual ETF and then below that I've got Apple AAPL and that's number 1101 and then number 1102 is Google and so those are the top 10 stocks in QQQ and then I added the nine sector SPDRs using the same naming convention if you will. I started with 1200 and moved down to 1208, 1209, 1210. I've got XLY so I know which sector it's associated with. I've got the XLY chart itself and then I've got the top 10 stocks in XLY. Comcast, Amazon, Disney, Home Depot and so on. And so I did this for all nine sectors in QQQ and that gives me around 100 stocks. There's, you know, some duplicates there. I've got the nine sector SPDRs and I've got QQQ. And it's a good way to get a good overview of the main drivers in the stock market, especially when you're talking about the S&P 500. At this point, we need to save the file and of course we need to save it as a CSV file. So I will go to File, Save As, and you can see I've got XLSX, that's for Excel 2011, and I need to change that. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the option for the format. And I'm going to change it from an Excel workbook to a comma separated values file. And I've already got a file name and I'm just going to replace that. I've named it Chart List CSV and I will click Save and replace and I will have this file now ready to use for an upload into a chart list. All right, so we can at this point either create a chart list or use an existing chart list and I'm going to go ahead and create a chart list and if you're on the sharp chart workbench you can do that. You can see the edit list link at the top. Click that and then you will have the option of editing the list, deleting the list, or creating a new list. So I'm going to create a new list and it's going to ask me for a name. And I'm just going to call it Stocks Top 100 even though there aren't exactly 100 stocks in there but it's a good idea of what I'm looking at. Click OK and I will be put on that list itself. Now at this point if you scroll down you will see your chart list is empty so you need to populate that with some symbols and if you scroll further down you will see the upload option and we need to choose a file. So I will choose a file and there I can see my chart list CSV file. I will double click it and it will be uploaded and then I'll click the upload link to put it into that chart list. You'll refresh the page and if you scroll down a little bit there you will see all the tickers and names that will be added and click OK to add those entries to this chart list. And we've added those now and you can scroll down and you can see we have QQQ as our first chart. There's a symbol and then in order we have Apple, Google, Microsoft, Amazon. Scroll down, we've got the consumer discretionary sector XLY and then we've got the top 10 stocks Comcast, Amazon, Disney, Home Depot, Mac, McDonald's and so forth. So this is a real good way to scroll through a bunch of charts that are related. Let's look at a candle glance to see how that works. 
All right, so now if we want to view these charts in any particular way, we can go back up to the top and we can see View My Stocks Top 100 list in, and I can choose a different format. And I'm going to choose Candle Glance. And that page will refresh, and you can see I've got all these charts grouped. Now I have QQQ, and then Apple, and Google, and Microsoft, and I can see how those top 10 stocks are performing. And I scroll down and I will change over to the consumer discretionary sector. And then I have Comcast and Amazon. You can see Comcast is twice because it's part of QQQ and part of XLY. There is some duplication here. But as I said, it's a real handy way to put a structure into your list and view your stocks in a certain pecking order. I have included at the end of the written commentary in that mailbag post a link to that CSV file and you're welcome to download it and you can upload it to a chart list. And I think you'll find that handy for browsing through the top stocks in each sector and in QQQ. And that concludes this video edition of the mailbag. Thanks very much for tuning in and have a great day.